All right, let's talk about one of the most challenging topics for new GIS folks, and that's figuring out coordinate systems and how ARC handles them. So I've got our catalog open uh, to a, a set of uh, vector files that we're going to look at and the coordinate systems that they're uh, using. And then I've also got ArcMap open um, that we're going to pull these data sets in. Now I've opened ArcMap. I've got a, a blank map that I've started out with. And let's just kind of look where ArcMap starts with. So I've got a data frame here. It's blank, no data sets. I'm going to right click on the data frame and go to data frame properties. And this, you're going to do this a lot when you're looking with coordinate systems and trying to get things to line up. So I'm going to switch to the coordinate systems um, tab here. And notice that ArcMap starts out with, with no projection. So it basically says, I don't know what projection or coordinate system you want to use. Um, so uh, you need to tell me. Now, I could go in here and tell it which one I want to use. But usually you don't start off with that. Usually you start off and you add a data set. So I'm going to do this by drag and dropping. So I'm going to grab this states file over here. Um, I can notice right off the bat that if I, I move around, I can see some coordinates down here that are, are definitely not latitude and longitude. So this has been projected. And I can also see that by the, the curve that we get for lines of latitude. So I can right click here and look at the properties for this data set and its coordinate system. So it's defined as um, a Lambert conformal conic and that meshes with what uh, I see there on the screen. I also know that its underlying datum is NAT83. So I'm going to hit cancel there and I'm going to add this to my ArcMap session. All right, and I see that there. Now let's look at what happened to the data frame and its coordinate system. So I'm going to right click, click data frame properties again, and aha, it has grabbed the coordinate system information from that first data set. So it no longer says no projection. It's picked up the coordinate system from that first data set. So it's saying, all right, I'm assuming that you're going to use US conformal conic. OK. Now the interesting things come into play when we start adding additional data sets that may be in a different coordinate system. So let's look at a different data set here. So I've got the same states file um, that's showing up here a little bit different in our catalog. Uh, as I move around, uh, I can see the coordinates here are much smaller um, down at the bottom. So those look like latitude and longitude, so a geographic coordinate system. So let's right click on that, say properties, and I say yes, that it's a geographic coordinate system and it is based upon a NAT83 uh, datum. All right, so the datums are the same between those two, uh, but one is projected and one is not. So let's see what happens when I take that shape file for states, uh, the geographic one, and add it to my arc map session. All right, pulls it in. Notice there were no errors or even warnings that I got. It just accepted that. And let's change the color here. And notice when I turn the top layer on and off that these line up, uh, at least apparently, perfectly. So ArcMap has taken this file, which is in geographic coordinate systems, and done a reproject on the fly to get it to line up with the Lambert conformal conic. And since they have the same underlying uh, data, it does this fairly simply without any error messages. Now let's go over here. Uh, i got one more data set here. This is in NAD27. So let's do the same thing. I'm going to right click just to confirm that that's in NAD27. So geographic coordinate systems, North American data of 1927. Let's see when I bring this into ArcMap. Okay, now it says, I, got, I get a warning here. It says that it's a different coordinate system. So I need to switch by using a transformation from one underlying datum to the next. So I'm going to convert from North American datum of 1927 into 83. And for most places, you're going to use that NADCON conversion. Say OK, close, and I get the same thing. It lines up. All right, that's how coordinate systems should work in ArcMap and Arc Catalog.